Stan Clark was born in 1953 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, to Marvine and Emerson Clark. Stan describes his childhood as wonderful, with loads of unconditional love for both he and his only sister, Linda. I was really nurtured uh, to think entrepreneurially uh, just from the time I was a boy. My father um, really instilled that in me and sort of pounded it home and mentored me uh, in that he t he's formed his own company. And I saw the difference in lifestyle that his being an owner of a company uh, meant versus um, his being a vice president of a very large company and just, just how much uh, difference that was. And in fact, when I was in fifth grade, we moved from Fourth Terrace, um, basically North Tulsa, to the very south edge of Tulsa at the time into a parade of homes, homes. So that just kind of give you an idea of the juxtaposition there. And uh, So for a young man, very impressionable, um, you know, I saw, hey, maybe this entrepreneurial idea could, could be something. Self-described as loving all kinds of ball as a kid and considering himself a bit of a goofball and cut up, Stan decided he wanted to have his own business. He headed for OSU to study business. And then what happened? You know, I had no idea that right after graduation, literally two weeks after Steve File and I graduated from Oklahoma State, I'm laying on the couch at his house one Sunday afternoon and he walks in and goes, hey Clark, I'm gonna open a bar. And I said, wow, File, wow, it's a great idea. I know where there's this neat little two-story building for rent. I'll go in partners with you. And right then we jumped in his car and drove down to what's now Eskimo Joe's. And I always say, as fate would have it, the owner of the property was there that Sunday because had he not been, we probably would have never acted on it. You know, we probably wouldn't have gone back down there. And within about 10 minutes, we shook hands with the guy and agreed to rent the building. Very complicated um, negotiation ensued. Um, he said, well, fellas, if you want it, just as you see, it'll be 350 a month. If you want me to air condition, I have to charge you 400. So he said, we're gonna probably need air conditioning. We'll take the air conditioning. So, you know, anyway, that truly is the inception of Joe's. His parents weren't elated that the boys were buying a bar, but his father understood the gleam in their eyes. They got a loan from Stillwater Bank with promises to make it work. Stan lived upstairs in the bar at night and worked during the day. What made this bar different from other bars? Well, you know, I would have to say that uh, nothing was that much different about Eskimo Joe's probably than a lot of other places that opened with the possible exception of our enthusiasm. You know, we were just so excited about what we were doing and the opportunity to be in business at age 22 that I just believe that enthusiasm just spilled all over our guests. Um, we absolutely pe showed people a good time. And frankly, that's still our core product today. We show people a good time. And our mantra today is we want to treat people so well they can't believe it. A freshman commercial art student designed their logo and the t-shirt business took off. A change in Oklahoma drinking age laws from 18 to 21 gave Stan quite a scare. He quickly scrambled into the food business, opening more restaurants, and he began pushing Eskimo Joe's clothes in the shop next door. Today, Eskimo Joe's has sold millions of t-shirts. In the early days, it was $3.75 for a t-shirt and you got a free beer. Now with specialty t-shirts, it will cost five or six times the original price there were other changes in Stan's life. Well, I, I got married uh, fairly late in life, and uh, even after we were married, Shannon and I didn't have kids for about seven years. So we had our first child when I was 49, and, uh, and her name is McGuire, and she's absolutely lovely, beautiful young lady. And then two years later, um, we, had, we had twins, Gabby and Hudson. And uh, so, you know, it's just, it's just been a total total change of priority and uh, just the most joy that I've ever had in my life is, is my marriage to Shannon and those three beautiful kids. So, Faith and family are an important part of Stan's life and so is his beloved community. His company is active in Special Olympics, United Way, Stillwater Public Education Foundation, the OSU College of Education, and he served on the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Commission for nine years. For his unbridled enthusiasm, his inclusive demeanor making all feel welcome wherever he goes, his keen dedication to his business, his city, his college, and his state, is why Stan Clark is the beneficiary of Oklahoma City University's Minder School of Business Entrepreneurial Spirit Award.